Finally, one of the most requested animals have made their way into the ark. Kind of funny that people still want horses in a game where you can ride enormous, powerful dinosaurs, but whatever. We asked our paleontologist what he knows about these guys, and he has come up from the depths with some hot nerd info. Here's what he has to say. With horses, we know more about their evolutionary history than any other animal. The prehistoric ancestor of horses first came into the scene in North America around 55 million years ago, with small dog-sized critters that actually had toes instead of hooves. Fast forward 50 million years later during the Pleistocene epoch, this is when modern horses appeared, crossing over the land bridge that existed at the time from Alaska to Russia, and dying out in North America during the end of the Ice Age. It wasn't until 6,000 years ago in Middle Asia when they were domesticated by early humans. Since then, horses have been our loyal companions. Their reliability and speed has helped man in his quest to travel the world and conquer his foes. Arx Equus seems visually similar to the Kuaga, a now extinct subspecies of plain zebra that died out close to the end of the 19th century. Boom! There it is! Some hot nerd info in case you were interested. Alright, so I've changed my mind. Remember when I said the Therizino is my new favorite dino in the game? Well, not anymore! The zebra is now my new favorite dino, hands down! This guy just looks so cool! It sounds so cool! <laughs> It's also extremely versatile and useful for just about everything. In fact, the Equus may just be the most versatile dino in the game. Let me veer off a little bit here to say, wow, I'm really impressed. Remember when Ark was first released to Early Access? It was a pretty cool game with a lot of features that ran like trash. But that's not the point. The day one content, while pretty good, was amateur compared to what Wildcard is putting out now. You can tell that the devs have improved dramatically since 2015. So, two thumbs up, Wildcard! You guys have really become great at what you do. Look forward to the TLC Pass where you'll be giving the early content the tender love and care it deserves. Okay, okay, okay! Enough talking! Let's get into the juicy bits! The first thing you should know about your new horse friend is that it's really an all-purpose tame ideal for players starting out, but maybe still useful mid-game too. The Equus is pretty great early game for getting around the map quickly, it's fast and has a lot of stamina, allowing you to outrun any predator and travel long distances without stopping. The Equus has two attacks, a left-click bite and a right-click buck. It also goes wee snaw when you press C. It's just the cutest little thing, isn't it? Your left click bite is fantastic for farming berries. Not quite as good as a trike, but still good enough to make me not want to bother taming a trike early game. The right click buck. We need to talk about this one for a second. This is great! It's like a built-in slingshot or something. Your buck attack actually deals a fair bit of torpor to players and dinos. This makes the Equus actually really useful for taming other dinos early on before you have access to more efficient methods. Although this is generally pretty good against smaller dinos you want to knock out quickly without needing to waste any resources. And it's always good against other players. Side note, the amount of torpor dished out per, like, buck attack actually scales with increased melee damage. So if you drop a ton of melee points into your new horse friend, you'll be able to knock anything out in just a couple of hits. Keep that in mind. Get ready for this. Remember when I said the Equus was maybe the most versatile dino in the game? Well, I said that for good reason. Check this out! When you access the inventory of the Equus, you'll find something new. A crafting tab! How cool! The saddle functions as both armor for your Wiesna, but also doubles as a mobile mortar and pestle. It's like an early game version of the mobile Quetzal gunpowder farming rig you'll commonly see people using later on. 
This is a great idea and a great new addition to the game. I hope to see more dinos added with a built-in crafting tab. By the way, the saddle is completely optional, making the Equus even more accessible early game. So how do you tame you a wee snaw? Well, it's a little bit of an unusual process. The Equus is unique as far as taming goes. You'll have to sneak up on it with one of two preferred foods, either carrots or meho berries. Of course it'd be carrots, you know, horses love carrots. Make sure you have one of two preferred foods in the last slot of your hotbar and begin sneaking up on it. Now, if you screw this up, it will be spooked and run away. So be careful and sneak up on it by crouching. Once you get close enough, you'll be able to press E to feed it. You'll now have the option to ride it. Hop on it quickly and press E again to calm it down before it bucks you off. Now for the boring part. You'll have to sit tight and wait around while it runs in circles with you on its back. After a while, it will stop and kind of start bucking again. You need to press E to feed it more at this point, or it will knock you off and the whole taming process is ruined. Once you've successfully tamed a new zebra, you'll need a salad. The salad is crafted at the smithy and will cost you... Once you've got a salad, you can now craft a new item, the lasso. It's basically an early game grappling hook you can use to capture small dinos and other players. The lasso can only be used while riding your new horse friend. Frick you! Frick you! How you can't even hit a lasso, faggot! Oh, I'm out of stamina. Fuck you, faggot! Frick you, dude! As far as leveling goes, it really depends what you're going for. Personally, I would drop a lot of points into weight and speed, with maybe a few extra points dropped into HP and melee for even more torpor damage and survivability. Although it's already pretty fast, so you could skip over speed and just focus on weight and HP with some extra melee thrown in. Or you can just say screw it and drop everything into speed. It's much more fun that way. Well, that's all I got for now. Hey! You know here, bash that subscribe button! Stick around, we've got a lot more content coming up for this update. Look around a little, I have no doubt in my mind that if you look around, you too will become a loyal citizen of the shop! Go ahead and click that description! Join our Discord and get roasted! Bah! <coughs> oh. Okay. Hey, watch out though, because you might wind up crying. And hey, if you think you know more than our paleontologist, I encourage you to swing by and debate him. I had one guy come in the other day and try to debate him, and it was actually pretty funny, so come challenge our paleontologist! Yeah! Until next time, we'll see you soon. Hey kids, Cloved Gaming Guru here, and today we're going to be talking about the new meta that's coming into Arc Survival Evolved that could ruin the whole thing. And really, it's one word. Friggin' Melee! I'm not screaming again, I'm getting yelled at by my dad. And then you just, you just go and go, bop, bop, head ass. How the fuck can this be racist? Fake freedom, stop it! Just stop with the fake bait! Oh my fucking god, I got so fucking angry!